Reading Rocket. My Shadow is Pink. Written and illustrated by Scott Stewart. For Colin, you are loved exactly as you are. My dad has a shadow that's blue as can be, and there's nothing but blue in our whole family tree. But mine is quite different. It's not what you think, for mine is not blue. My shadow is pink. My shadow loves ponies and books and pink toys, princesses, fairies, and things not for boys. But... There's one thing it likes most I have found. It loves wearing dresses and dancing around. It spins and it sparkles and it twirls through the air, then stops as my dad walks in with a glare. It will turn blue one of these days. Don't worry, he says. It is just a phase. Dad's shadow is blue. It is big, it is strong, but when I stand with it, I just feel so wrong. I wish mine was blue like all of the others. I wish mine was blue like my dad's and my brother's. I'd be part of the group. Of that there's no doubt, but I cannot fit in when my shadow stands out. Now things are all changing and that is not cool. I'm ready to start my first day at school. You'll need pencils and books and lunch you must bring. Dress up with your shadow in its favorite thing. My heart skips a beat as I put on a dress and I look at my dad who is anxious and stressed. He takes me to class and I turn to say bye. His face is all worried. There's fear in his eyes. So I step in the doorway and puff out my chest. One thing is clear, I'm not like the rest. I try to say hi, but my voice is too quiet. The kids turn around and the room, it goes silent. I run out of the door and I push past my dad. I run to my house feeling angry and sad. If my shadow was blue, I'd be there making friends. I'd be laughing and playing and drawing with pens. I rip off my dress, throw it down to the floor. I won't wear it again, not ever, no more. Just then, at my door came a soft little knock. It's my dad walking in and I look up in shock. Both he and his shadow in dresses they stood with shimmering seams and pink sparkling hoods. He speaks in a voice that's quite soft but is stern. Pick up that dress. You must listen and learn. Your shadow is pink. I see now it's true. It's not just a shadow. It's your innermost you. He showed me the photos of parents and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and others. We've all had a shadow that's hidden from eyes. Sometimes our shadow, it lives in disguise. His shadow loves painting and fashion and art. Her shadow loves engines and powerful cars. His shadow loves dance with its turns and its twirls. Her shadow, she hides it. Her shadow likes girls. His shadow loves theater and acting and plays. Her shadow loves science and planets and space. Your shadow is you, and pink it will be. So stand up with your shadow and yell, this is me. And some they will love you, and some they will not. But those that do love you, they'll love you a lot. So put on that dress and get back to school. If someone won't like you, then they are the fool. My heart nearly burst, and my shadow, it soared. I picked up the dress and wore it once more. We ran out the door, this time holding hands. My dad and our shadows, together we stand. I stride in my class and I puff out my chest. I may be different, but different is best. I join a small group, though I don't blend in. They look up and smile, 
Will you be our friend? Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe for regular uploads. If you have a favorite book you'd like read, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Until next time, friends!